I've been thinking about starting doing some winter climbing for a while now. And um, this year I said to myself, well, I'll give it a try. I've been up a couple of hills in winter, but never managed to summit. Always had to turn back because I never had the skills or the confidence to go on. Try and maintain three points of contact all the time. So kick, kick. I knew Wendell and I'd climbed with Wendell and he said to me, oh, you should do a winter a mountain skills course. Wendell's excellent, yeah. Wendell's, yeah, I thought he's, he's really good. Very confident, very knowledgeable, very experienced. I think he makes you feel at ease, which is hugely important. Contact popped out. I learned a lot of little snippets about the kit and such like, on, you know, in the very first talk because I've, I've read some books it's all very well reading these things but you really you know there's no sort of substitute for experience for actually getting out there and doing it probably almost everything was useful really the different types of steps you can use depending on the snow um, and the terrain just uh, so that you're not really putting yourself at risk that you know you can pick the right step to use or the right tools to use at that time crampons were a revelation to me I'd always thought they'd be very awkward to wear, but actually they, 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 they're not at all and they, and they submit, just make things so much more secure on your feet. Like if you've got to climb a steep slope, it was learning to cut yourself out handholds, uh, pigeon holes, I think Wendell called them. I love, love, love those pigeon holes, you know, making little holes when you, so you can climb with one axe, that's great. Also the avalanche information, how to look at the snow and uh, how the snow comes together was something I wasn't really aware of before, but it's really interesting and really important. Building a shelter, which I hadn't done before, was fantastic. Getting the opportunity to see how you actually do that and how you can make it and how warm it can be, that was really good. You know, again, those are things that can save your life as well. Most crucial thing, probably the self-arrest stuff. Um, you know, knowing if, if you fall, how to stop, particularly even just like when you tumble, the how to put yourself into a star and stop before you even have to get into any of the kind of using the ice axe or anything. Doing the ice axe arrest was really fun. Kind of rolling down slopes and jabbing in the icy or making yourself into star funny shapes. Watching everyone and the nervousness and um, <laughs> thinking you wouldn't be able to do it. We thought Michelle was going to end up at the bottom of the hill. <laughs> went flying down the hill a bit faster than I expected. And <laughs> um, but, you know, it, it, not in a scary way, you know, it was, all, it was all safe, but that was kind of fun. Oh, I think a course like this is great. You know, you, you've got the fundamentals there of starting out, plus you've got all the kind of safety element built in so that you have the confidence to go out there and not be too worried, you know, to know that you're in control, to know what to do, things like that.